Welcome to Carnivore 411. My name is Matthew. Welcome back. If you've been here before, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Tonight, Darlene made a new dish. I'm going to say we did, right? Because <laughs> I'm bringing it to you. See? All right. So what we made, I'm going to put we in there, all right? Um, actually, she made this. She did. Okay, so she used a pound of hamburger, and she put it on the stove. And then she took all the grease off, and then she put the burger into a pot. Into the pot, she put cheddar cheese, she put sour cream, and she put some heavy whipping cream. Now, and yes, this is a strict diet, guys. Yes, and I do want to mention, this is my day 29. And this is my day 29 update. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I had to check in with y'all. Today's been a really busy day. Uh, but definitely, definitely wanted to check in. And I got this beautiful dish to be able to try. Right? That's right. All right, so. Oh, also. All right, now already tonight, I've had two pork chops. Earlier today, I had about half a chicken. And what do I have here? This right here, oh, it's about mm, half a breast, almost, of, uh, that was a, um, yeah, it was air fried, so, all right, so anyway, let me go and try this. I, I haven't had a bite yet, but it looks really good. I mean, come on, the ingredients in here, it's killer. Oh, yeah, and then, <laughs> before I try this, before I try you know it's going to taste good, right? You know this. And how can this be diet food? I mean, how can this be something where, I don't know. I don't know. It's still mind-blowing to me. Just uh, it's just get the processed foods out. So today is day 29. If you're, if you're here for the first time, my name is Matthew. 51 years old, 6'3", 214 pounds. Just kind of giving you an update. Um, when I started off this journey, I was 219 have tons of energy, had a really good workout this morning, and there you go. And then I went fishing. So here we go. Let me go ahead and try this. But feeling great. Whoo, memory improvement, sharper. I, I just can't list all the benefits. 400 times the amount of energy. I can do 50% more push-ups than I was able to do in the past. Basically, to be more specific, 50 to 75, you know, in a row. Um, I do that first thing when I wake up in the morning, there you go. And of course there's a lot more working out I do, but I think that's huge right there. Those gains. All right, here we go. Let me have you see this. I know you know what hamburger looks like, but there it is. All right. No, I'm not worried about cholesterol cause you don't have to mind you know, this is medical advice, not a doctor. But trust me, do the research on this. This is crazy. Mmm. That's all my updates. Usually. Mmm. Wow, this is rich. I, I taste the cheddar cheese big time. Mmm. I'm tasting something else in here, though. Mmm. Boy, that's creamy. That is so good. My brain feels like, feels really, really good right now. Hmm. 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 Oh, by the way, when it came to this recipe, Darlene just threw stuff in there. She, there was no measurements. Right, Darlene? Yeah. You know one of my favorite things to eat. And that's going to be chicken. Always. Air fried. There you go. Oh my gosh. So good. Mmm. So. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh. I'm just weak when it comes to sour cream mm. Mm.
Oh my gosh. That tastes so good. Mm. Okay. So yeah, this is the real strict diet. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, a lot of people think that this, this is gonna be a rough diet, that it's gonna be very stringent, that it's gonna be, it is an elimination diet, but you're left with all the good stuff. <laughs> I mean, you are. Oh my gosh. And I'm giving you the visuals so that you can visualize. You know, could you eat this? Could you eat hamburger with sour cream, with cheddar cheese, with thick cream? Could you? I mean, come on. I mean, there you go. Take a bite. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to give you a recap. Because if you haven't been here and this is your first video, I was plant-based for 10 years. And I am so much in a better place. Mentally, of course, taste-wise. Energy. Oh, and my blood pressure. I did use a different uh, cuff. Let me show you what it was. All right, here it is. What's that? What? 113 over 53. I have never seen results like I have on the carnivore diet. I don't even see how that's possible. 10 years on a plant-based diet, I could never get close to that. I don't even know. I mean, that kind of looks like it's it's really good. And I don't even understand. And the only reason why I say understand is because there's so much brainwashing that goes into what we're fed by society. And they, you know, society doesn't say, hey, eat the really, really good stuff like this. They say it's going to cause the illness. And no. It's that processed food, folks. Processed food. Processed food. Get away from the processed food. And get to heavenly food. Mm. Guys, thanks for showing up. If you have high blood pressure, if you have type 2 diabetes, if you have lots of other ailments, <laughs> I don't have a full list, all right? But I guess what I'm saying is, it matters so much what we put in our mouths. Our health is about 90% of what we eat. It's also about working out, but a very small percentage. I mean, do I <laughs> do I donate a lot? I mean, do I, do I put a lot of time towards that? Not really, mm -mm. but it's important too. Food, 90%. You're not gonna be able to work your way out. You can't work out in the gym enough to get to work out processed food. It's not gonna happen. But you can eat very satiable food, optimal food, full of protein, and you're gonna thrive like you never have before. Your memory, you're gonna find yourself being able to remember things that you never thought you could. If you're not good with names of roads, you'll become good with names of roads. If you're not good with names of people, all of a sudden, you're gonna be good with names of people without even trying. If you doubt me, I challenge you. I've been doing this for only 29 days. Feeling great. Y'all have a great night. Thank you for stopping in. And if you get a chance, please punch, like the video, subscribe. Would love to have you along my journey. Peace out.